Do you have what it takes to make it as a musician in the music industry? Bobby Boy here, AKA Professor. I recently sat down with a student on Zoom who asked me questions about the qualities necessary to make it in the music industry. Here's his question and here's my answer. Hi Bobby, in your years as working as a music industry professional, what are some of the qualities you have recognized in musicians who have made it. Okay, great. That's a great question. I've got three things. But before I actually start, I just want to preface by saying that nothing I'm about to say is rocket science. Really, sometimes the simplest things are the best advice that you can get. So first, number one, you don't suffer from what I call the 2M disease. The 2M disease is mansions and money. Musicians <laughs> that focus on mansions and money, unfortunately, just want to get insta famous and they're going to get disappointed and quit when they're not flying around in Lear jets in one year. So that's no recipe for success. However, the people that suffer from the 1M disease, this is called music. These are people that typically are extremely passionate about music and their instrument and are just trying to get as good as they possibly can get. They're just trying to figure out ways of how they can do music full time and quit their day job. And typically these are the people that have the passion and what it takes to go the long term. And they are then in fact, the people that end up with the mansions and money. And then there's number two, we have people that are actually focused on what I call the I'm legit and everybody else's shit syndrome, right? <laughs> and people that have this are typically convinced that they are God and everybody else is, is, is wrong. And they're just trying to find people that will confirm this, you know, industry people, fans, etc. And unfortunately, these are the people that are not open for criticism, that are not open for change or growth. And two things are going to happen. Either they're going to become the next genius, right? Which statistically is not going to happen. They're probably going to end up, unfortunately, going nowhere. But the people that have an open mind, they're taking in feedback from the environment. They're taking criticism. They're trying new things. They're changing. They're looking at analytics to see how they can better engage with their fans. These are the people that are typically going to grow and last in the music industry. Because even if you get lucky and you have that one hit, you're going to have to be able to adapt as the industry inevitably changes. I mean, look at people like Madonna, right? She has changed literally on every record, and that's why she has a 50-year career. So you have to be agile. And then number three, musicians who have amazing time management skills. In this day and age right now, of being a DIY artist, you have to be your own CEO of your own company. You're running everything, right? You're a and r -ing, you're managing, you are being the producer, you're being the engineer, you're being the graphic artist, you're being the marketer. It's extremely overwhelming. And typically what people do is they do a lot of one thing and then they don't, you know, factor in these other things. You, you have to be balanced and you have to know how to do that. And there's certain techniques for that that I'm going to be discussing in another video. So look out for that. But I mean, generally, time management is an important skill. Oh, and also one more thing. You have to have great friends in the music industry, like your two mice buddies that are crawling around. <laughs> Hey, do you want to jump on a Zoom and ask me a question? Leave it in the comments below and I'll be sure to get back to you. Peace.